Hey everybody, uh, I said I was going to do a, or try my hand at some non-Japanese weapons, so I threw together a medieval mace, uh, I'm not, I'm not real happy with it, but I didn't spend a lot of time on it, I kind of really just threw it together, just to see if I could. Uh, the welds look like hell. Uh, quick tip for anyone, don't buy a cheap welder. Get a nice Miller or Lincoln. The welds look like crap. I might clean that up eventually if I ever feel like it, but this was just kind of a tryout, I guess. Uh, it's five inches up here. Uh, it's... Is it? I think the handle is... 15 inches with a round ball on the end. This was a cool idea that I had. I, I'm a big fan of uh, the uh, Romans and their sword usually has a round ball for the pommel or roundish. Some of them were oval. But I really liked that. I thought that looked cool and it's, it's one hell of a hand stop. I mean you can't, that won't slip off your hand for nothing. So I added that on there, just to see how that looked. Pretty happy with that. Uh, the one thing though that I wasn't happy with is the new paint that I bought. I ran out of black paint. So I went to the store and picked up some of the, the same can of flat black paint that I paint my uh, cordage with. And when I let it dry, you can kind of see it already. You can see it's sparkly. For some reason this paint has glitter in it and I, as soon as I saw that I grabbed the can of paint and I looked at it and it doesn't say anything about glitter or sparkles or anything else but now I have a nice mace with a sparkly handle. Sweet. So I went and bought some just regular old paint from Home Depot, some flat black and a big can. And I'm gonna repaint it, but no big deal. I just thought that was that just kinda bothered me a little bit that the paint I've always used for some reason now has has glitter in it. But oh well. Uh, besides that, I did uh, finish up two other training weapons. Got a simple Tessin. I think I made that in about five minutes. It's a simple design of a Tessin. And then the other one, the Katsu Shogi. Uh, wood handle, can't see it really because I got it wrapped with the rope, but does go all the way through. And then for the ring, that's just a dog toy. Got it at PetSmart for like five bucks. So that was pretty simple. So I think out of all these weapons and everything that I made from for the training stuff maybe 40 bucks for I think like six weapons that I made six training weapons so that, that's kind of cool I'm definitely done with the whole training weapon deal it's kind of boring to me to make something and I can't cause damage with it but that's it for the training weapons um, I do have another weapon in the make that is a, it's based off of a Chinese design and I saw it on the History Channel. I'm a huge, huge history nut and I love watching the History Channel. They got a show called Ancient Discoveries that they show a bunch of cool stuff from uh, antiquity and it's, it kind of makes you, when you watch the show, kind of makes you realize that if you think we invented it now go back about a thousand years or a couple hundred years and 
check out the Chinese because they probably already did it. But it's a cool weapon. I'm not going to say what it is yet. But it definitely is the most dangerous thing I've probably ever made. And if it works, it's going to be it's going to be awesome. So hopefully it does. I should have that done early next week. So maybe Wednesday. Maybe even Tuesday if I rush it. I'll have that finished up and I'll make a video on it and show everyone. I'm not 100% sure if it's legal or not, but whatever. So that's about it uh, for my sparkly uh, medieval mace. Um, I do have one other project that I might start working on. Is I'm a, I'm a huge zombie fan. Uh, I love The Walking Dead. I love George Romero. Love zombie movies, and I had someone ask me, you know, if I could, you know, take a weapon. If zombies came, or whatever, you know, what would what would I make that would be like my perfect, like zombie weapon? So I've been tossing ideas around in my head and drawing them out. So I might I might do that if I if I find time, but time's really tight. So I might have a zombie video coming up. I don't know. Maybe I'll save that for October during Halloween. But we'll see. Besides that, uh, any other, any questions, as always, send me a message. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can.